Hi, everybody. I'm going to show you how to email your entire class using Hapra. So if I'm in my staff portal, I want to come down here and click on either the icon or this word that says dashboard. So I'm going to click on Hapara and it will load. And if this is the first time you've ever used Dashboard, if you've ever if you've never used Tapra before, you'll be at, prompted to sign in like this. So it's just a sign in with Google, and you just click on your email address, and it prompts you to log in. If it's the first time you've logged in, it might get, greet you with all kinds of fireworks and um, guide you towards some tools that you can use to familiarize yourself with some of the great tools in Hapara. So I'm here on my manage classes page so if this isn't what shows up for you just click on manage classes and you can see the classes here that I teach so whichever class that I'm ready to email I'm going to click on that class and it will open up for me with this dashboard so you can see that there's all kinds of student information here and for the purposes of emailing I'm actually going to go all the way down here to class info I will click on class info and here we have all kinds of information about this class. So you'll see up here at the top, there is a generic email address. This is similar to your staff group email address that your teach, your principals or VPs would use with you at your school. So you can use this email, you can copy paste that and use it to email your class. You can also notice down here that all of the learners in your class, all of your students are listed here. So if you were looking for individual student emails, you can click on those students copy and then I can simply copy paste those into a BCC of an email if I want to email those students individually. Finally this email class button is really going to be your easiest solution so if I click on email class you will see that it's going to pop up here with a gmail window that is automatically set up to email this class so we've got that email address here for that one section and otherwise, it's the same as a regular Gmail. So I'm going to just write my email, test email, for example. Here's the body of my email. And then at the bottom, I've got my options to put in an attachment, to put in a link. Um, I can add something from my Google Drive. So if there are certain specific things that you want your students to access from this email, you can do that. And when you're ready to go, all you need to do is hit the send button. Every single student that's in PowerSchool in this section, in this class, will receive that email, and then they will be able to respond to you directly. And that's how you email your class.